Hello and a very warm welcome to the Haasfeld Thanksgiving special. Today I am joined by Finja, who is from the Haasfeld catering team, as well as Trey Souza, who is our newest addition to the lineup as an 18-year-old American in our under-19 team. And today, as it's Thanksgiving, we thought we'd be making a Thanksgiving special with a pumpkin pie. So Finja, what's the first step when we're making a pumpkin pie? First, we need to scoop out the pumpkin. Okay, well, uh, Trey, if you'd like to start off, and okay. we'll uh, start off getting out the pumpkin. So have you baked a pumpkin pie before? No, never, I've no? never. <laughs> and uh, what do you usually do uh, for Thanksgiving in the Sousa household? Uh, me and my family, we eat turkey uh -huh. and rice. And do you have any experience of baking yourself? Have you, um, have you baked anything before? Or? Uh, sometimes I make brownies with my mom. Okay. Is that most of the pumpkin done or do we need much more out of it? That's good. Okay. Trey needs a little <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we need to put the pumpkin here in the... Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. So how do, how do we do that? Cooking pumpkin pie too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have the pumpkins. Uh, we need to put them in the oven. For how long, Finia? 45 minutes. For 45 minutes, okay. Well, I guess it's time to get baking. You got it? Okay. Whilst the pumpkin pie is baking, we thought we'd use the time to ask Trey a few other questions about how he's settling into life in Hamburg. Um, first thing is, the weather's quite different to your native California. Has that been an adjustment that you've had to make, a big adjustment? Yes, yeah, a big adjustment. In California, it's always sunny. Here, it's a bit cold and raining, so it's been hard to adjust to it, but I think I have. And how do you find living here on campus? I think it's good integrating with people from different countries, learning German every day, speaking German. I think it's been good. Mm -hmm. And have you been able to go to the Volkspark-Stadion for a first team game? Have you been able to experience the atmosphere? Yes, I have. The atmosphere is crazy. It's what I've dreamed of here. And, uh, Where, which game did you go and see? Uh, Stuttgart. Oh, really? The 6-2 the game? Yes, 6-2. Oh, okay. That must have been a, a crazy experience. Um, how did the interest from Hamburg come about in the first place, or when were you first aware that Hamburg were interested in you? Uh, it was a showcase in Florida, and I believe there were some Hamburg scouts there. So they seen me play in a few games, and they had spoke to my agent, and they said we would like him to come on trial. And that was about a year ago, and then you had a trial here uh, in February or March time? Yes, a trial, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, were you aware of Hamburg? Were you aware of Haasfall before the interest came? Yes, always. As a kid, I would watch Haasfall. I, I know a lot of players that have played here, so it's a big club. Mm -hmm. And would you say that Haasfall are well-known or relatively well-known in America? Yes, well-known, very well-known. Mm -hmm. And so then once the interest uh, came from Hamburg, or when you had the offer of a contract, was it an easy decision to sign here? Uh, yes, I would say so because back in my hometown there's a lot of things that can separate me from football and things that can stride me away from what I want to achieve. So here it's better to come and play football every day. Now we need to make the pastry and Finn, yes, what do, we, what do we need to do now? We need to put the flour, the butter and the salt and the sugar, mix it in the bowl. Okay, okay. fair in. All right, so if you want to mix it with your fingers. Okay. <laughs> and um, are you a, so you're a fan of American cooking? Do your parents send you over any um, sweets from, the, from America that you miss? Yes, they send me M&M's, Sour Patch Kids, and Skittles sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay. And is there anything particular from your mom's cooking that you miss whilst you're, whilst you're over here? What, anything particular that you have during Thanksgiving? The chicken. Chicken? The chicken, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, okay. 
So is that, is that everything for the pastry? Is the pastry made now? Yeah, okay. it's finished. And now it needs to sit for an hour or so. You played football before in America, and now you're playing in the RU, RU Union Bundesliga. Um, what's the difference between football in America and Germany, would you say? Uh, it's very, very physical here, and the tempo is very quicker. So I had to adapt fast to it. Mm -hmm. Then in September, for the first time, you trained with the first team. How was that as a, as a feeling? It was great. It was great. Uh, the guys, they were all good to me, and the level was just great there too. And before your first training session, did you feel nervous, excited, a mixture of both? Yes, nervous and excited just to train and have fun with the guys. Mm -hmm. There are two English-speaking members in the squad. Uh, first of all, your compatriot, Bobby Wood. Um, have you spoken much to him? Does he look out for you as a fellow American? Or? Yes, I speak with Bobby every day. He tries to get me integrated with the team and tells me he has a lot of experience, so he tells me what should I do and what not to do. So I just take in his advice. Mm -hmm. And then the other English-speaking member, Xavier Michi. Um, you're fairly similar in some respects, both 18-year-olds, both English-speaking, moved to another country um, when you're young. Do you get on well with Sav? Well? Yes, I get along well with him. I'm usually with him every day too, so we hang out a lot. Mm -hmm. And is that, uh, does it make it easier, the fact he's the same age as you? And yes, it makes it easier speaking with him because we both want to achieve the same goal. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then also, um, looking at the first team, you have Tim, Tim Leibold as the first choice left back. Um, do you specifically look at what he's doing in training um, to see what you could take for your game personally? Yes, in training he helps me a lot, so I see the things that he does and I try to integrate it into my game. And have you asked him as well, asked him for advice about what you can do as a left back, particularly as you're new for the position as well? Yes, I ask him when I have problems with some things in trainings and I ask him and then he just gives me advice. Mm -hmm. And is he quite open in that, in that respect? He wants to help yes. develop you? Yes, he wants to help me. And okay, so now the pastry has been sitting in the fridge for an hour and the pumpkin is all ready. So now what we need to do is roll out the pastry and then put the pumpkin inside. Then we can go back in the oven and we're almost finished. So the pastry is looking very nice. Do you want to put some flour on the on the work surface so we can roll this out? On the spot? Okay. Just all of it? No, no, no. Just just a small amount. Okay. So it doesn't stick to the. Tell me when. Yeah, yeah I think I think it's enough, right? Is that enough? Yeah, that's okay. Just spread it. And what shape do we need to make the pastry into? Circle. Make a circle? Yeah. And is it just one at the bottom of the...? Yes. And the base, okay. So it needs to yeah. sit the base some of the... flour on top of it. Yeah. Okay. okay. And flour on top as well. I'll just use my hand. Yeah. Okay. That's enough? Yeah, I think so. I think okay. I Use all, use all that strength. Okay. <laughs> Back to it. And then maybe, yeah, so. Oh, wait, sorry. Should I, should I show you then? Okay, so it's show me. Sort of like. <laughs> then you want to you flip it over, because otherwise then it sticks to the. So you need to put more flour. Okay. You need to put more flour on. Because otherwise then. The pastry sticks to the. Oops. So more sort of like that. Right, can you? Is that right? Yeah, that seems right. <laughs> yeah, so more push it down like that. And then push it to the side as well. Okay. And was it difficult to um, to adapt your style to the play here in, in Hamburg or in Germany? Yes, because in America I used to play forward, and when oh, okay. I came here they put me left back so it's a bit more defensive so I have to be better minded in defense. So you, you used to play as a striker when you were in America? Yes, yes. So now defense. And what do, uh, how's it looking? What do we need to it do? It looks good. We can yeah? try and put it in the tent. Okay. Let's give it a go. Okay. 
Go on, yeah, do you want to go outside as well? Yeah. I'm going to try and put it over there, into the pan. And then we'll move on to your first team debut against Eintracht Braunschweig in October. Um, did that happen fairly quickly? Um, did, did you know a long time before you were going to play in that game or did it all happen very quickly? No, I, I had no idea that I was going to play. The trainer told me about a couple of days before, so it was, it was good. Mm -hmm. And were there lots of people watching back home because the game was uh, live streamed on, on YouTube? Yeah. Yes, my family had watched it, yeah. most of my cousins and my aunts and uncles. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we posted the first picture of um, your training on Facebook, I'm not sure if you saw, but your dad commented saying, that's my boy. Is that um, uh, the support from your parents, is that, um, does that mean a lot to you? Does it help, uh, help, it help you settle in here? Yes, it pushes me more having support from them and my dad. I didn't know that he post <laughs> posted that. So. At the moment, you're currently uh, training for the first team as well as the under-19s. Um, how does it feel to flip between first team and under-19 training? Is it, is it difficult? Or? Yes, it's a, it's a bit difficult, but it's different levels, as you would see, but it's, it's I adapted. Mm -hmm. And is there a lot of interaction between the first team and the youth team, especially here in the campus? as? Um, as you're all eating together and all of the players eat here as well, do you bump into them a lot? And yes, we all integrate with each other, the first team players down to the under 15s. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned before you have uh, German lessons. Um, how's, the, how's the German coming along? It's, uh, it's a bit hard, it's a hard language, but I think it's coming along good. Uh -huh. Is there any, anything you can impress the Hamburg fans with? Um, with with any, any German sayings or anything like that? Or yeah. Uh, moin. Moin. <laughs> moin. <laughs> moin. <laughs> okay, now the pastry is ready. What do we need to do now? Now we need to do the filling. Okay, and that's with our pre prepared pumpkin. And what, what do we need to do with, uh, with the pumpkin? Now we need to mix it all together in the bowl. Okay. Okay, okay so I'm going to put, put that in the bowl. Oh, there's a spoon, I think. And what, what else do we need? Two, two egg yolks? One egg yolk. One egg yolk. And two full eggs. And two full eggs. And the rest of the, uh, what, which order do we need to put them into the bowl? With the, the other ingredients? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? Okay. It's all in there. Okay, so if you want to put the rest of the ingredients, we we'll put okay, the rest of the ingredients into the one and I'll crack. Oops. Have you, got, have you got another egg? Possibly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Do it. I'll try again. I feel there's a lot of pressure. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Okay. My dad taught me well. <laughs> okay. And what do we have to do now? So we have to mix it all together? We need to put the spices in. Also ah, yes. Okay. And the sugar. Not this one. Not this one. Yeah, brown sugar. It can go on just like this. Yeah, just like this. Okay. And then you cut the lemon. Okay. okay. Well, I'm gonna cut the lemon. Yeah. That's quite a. What, like this? Yeah, just a little bit. How do you how do you do it? <laughs> like this? Yeah. How much? Just a little. I think that's enough. Yeah? Just for the taste. And now we need to mix it all together? Yes. Okay, so now the mix is finished. We're almost there. You just need to pour it into the pastry base and then I think we're done. So if you want to... Okay. Okay, and now we need to put it in the oven, right? Let's do that thing. Yeah. 
And there it is, our finished pumpkin pie after a few hours of cooking as well as a lot of blood, sweat and tears. Thank you very much to Finja and Trey for being here and uh, happy Thanksgiving from all of us here at Haas Fall. I hope you enjoy the holidays.